What's up guys and welcome to my video. Now this video is all about answering a question that I often get asked and that is I want to get into PC gaming, should I get a laptop or should I get a desktop? And of course it's going to differ from person to person but I'm just going to go through some of the facts about each and help you choose which one is right for you. So what are the main differences between the two? Obviously a laptop is portable, that goes without saying, but then the main thing really is that the desktop is much cheaper. And that's plainly because a laptop you've got to pay for all the things that aren't in the desktop. You've got to pay for the screen, you've got to pay for the keyboard, you've got to pay for the battery and everything else in the laptop that isn't actually in a desktop, you've got to pay more for that and so you're kind of getting a bit less for your money. But the main difference really though is the fact that laptops are all about using as little power as possible whereas a desktop has a constant supply of juice so it doesn't really matter so much if it's not quite as efficient and you can get more power out of a desktop than you can in a laptop. And that is generally why the laptop versions of components are not as good as the desktop variants. Take a graphics card for instance, the GTX 660 is a lot more powerful than the GTX 660M, which is the laptop version. It's just underclocks, it doesn't use as much power, but it means you don't get the same level of performance than you do in the desktop version. Now in fact, a gaming laptop will normally not perform as well if it's running off battery power. As soon as you plug it in, all the components seem to get a little bit better and your games will run even better. That's all about power efficiency. They kind of underclock themselves so they use less power on a battery so they can actually last a decent amount of time. So that is the physical differences out of the way, but I do want to note quickly that I am biased towards desktops. To be honest, I'm not really a big fan of laptops at all and I just don't really like them. That's not to say I've never used them. I use them all the time. In fact, I own a high-end MacBook Pro and I have owned a Windows laptop before that. But as a general rule, I prefer desktops. So while I will stick to the facts, it is worth bearing in mind that I am slightly biased towards desktops. The first thing to look at if you're deciding between a desktop and a laptop is price. Now you should see a little link here and I'll leave it in the description as well for the budget PC rig, uh, which is a desktop that I did last week. Uh, that is pretty powerful for what it is. It's gonna play a lot of games anywhere from medium to ultra even on some games. It, it is a quite a powerful machine for what it is. Now that starts at £400, but if you're looking at an equivalent laptop, they start at about £700. Yes, you can get cheaper ones, but anything below a 750M, or of course the 650M or that, I don't actually consider that to be a real gaming laptop. I don't think you're going to get much gaming performance out of it. Yes, you'll be able to play some games, but I wouldn't really classify it as a gaming laptop. But here's the thing, the £400 desktop will absolutely destroy the £700 or even the £1,000 laptop when it comes to actually benchmarks and games. The gaming performance is so much better on a desktop. If you're serious about games and you don't even need portability, then just stop the video right here, don't get a laptop, get a desktop. The performance is just so much better on the desktop, you're going to have to spend a lot of money to get similar performance on a gaming laptop. Of course, the real advantage though with a laptop is that it's 100% portable, you can take it anywhere. But when I say portable, any gaming laptop really is incredibly heavy and it's incredibly big and bulky. It's not really something that's very attractive. It's hardly uh, one of these slim MacBook Airs. It is really big, really bulky, and you're not gonna actually wanna really carry it many places just because it's so heavy. But of course you can buy a slim laptop, and slim laptops are personally what I would recommend. But the problem with them is that they don't actually perform anywhere near really as well as their big bulky counterparts just because you can't fit all the components in. When it comes to ease of use, you're generally going to want to use a mouse on pretty much every PC game anyway. That's not entirely true, you can of course use a controller, you can plug it in or you can use a wireless controller, um, but there are a lot of games that you just need a mouse, of course a mouse and keyboard, the keyboard is on the laptop, but the trackpad really isn't very suitable for many games at all. Other than the odd strategy game, yeah, you kind of need a mouse. Of course, laptops aren't always actually as easy to use because they've got really small cramped keyboards and the keyboards are quite thin and in a lot of cases they aren't as nice to use as the desktop versions. And of course you're using a smaller screen and a smaller screen normally isn't as good as a nice big desktop screen. And of course in cheaper laptops the screen quality itself isn't that great. It can be low grade TN panels and they're not really very nice to use at all. Laptops of course have lower connectivity, they don't have for example, so many USB ports and all the different ports around the computer, they just don't have as much. And as I touched on earlier, you're going to need to plug your laptop into the wall anyway to actually get all the performance out of it. You can use it on battery, but you're losing performance, and most of the time you're going to be sitting at a desk and with it plugged in anyway. 
And then of course there's expandability. In the configuration options for your laptops they will charge an extortionate amount for putting an SSD in. You can do this yourself normally on most laptops and it's very easy to do. Other than that, some laptops allow you to change the RAM, which again is a lot cheaper and it's very easy to do. But other than that, you can't expand much further. Whereas in a desktop, you can do pretty much anything you want with it. Now, of course, it's very fair to say you can get your laptop, you can take it downstairs, you can take it to a friend's house, you can plug it into your TV, and then you can use it as a portable games console. And yes, that is a very useful feature to have. But of course, desktops have streaming coming their way, um, it's currently in open beta, the Steam version now, but we've got streaming coming very soon, and so that might not be such a big selling point as it used to be in the coming years. So the main question I put to the person watching this video who's considering, should I buy a laptop, should I buy a desktop, is quite simply, are you ever going to use it as a laptop? Are you ever going to, say, use it on the train? Are you going to take it downstairs to plug into your TV? Are you going to take it to a friend's house? Are you going to take it to, I don't know, a place at work? Are you actually going to use it for its purpose? A portable desktop computer. That's what a laptop is. And if the answer to that is yes, I'm going to use it as a laptop all the time, then yeah, that probably is the right way to go. For absolutely anybody else that says, yeah, I might do it, might do it once a week, I don't know, maybe. Seriously, don't. Just get a desktop computer. Unless there's no room or there's, there's some reason why you can't have a desktop, you should really always get a desktop. They're much cheaper, they're much better performing, and it's just so much easier for you to use, and you can customise the keyboard, you can customise the mouse, the monitor, all of that stuff. You can choose what you want. You're not limited to what's actually inside this one small machine. So the main thing is, unless you need portability, don't buy something that's all about portability. It's kind of a bit silly, really. And if you are after portability, then I would say forgo the extra anti-aliasing settings and get one of these nice new slim laptops like the Razer Blade I'd recommend, or MSI do these nice GS Stealth editions of their laptops and they're quite nice as well. They're not as thin as some things like MacBook Air, but they're thin enough and light enough for you to take places you know, and that's what it's all about, portability. If you want to know more about desktop gaming PCs, there are plenty of PC-centric rigs which are like recipes or designs for computers and they're available on my channel or a few of them are in the description below. So that pretty much wraps up this video then. If you thought it was good, give it a like and leave a comment and say why you liked it. If you didn't like it, then tell me what am I doing wrong? Leave a comment below and hit the dislike button, don't be afraid to do it. It lets me know what stuff you guys like and which stuff you don't like. And if you thought some of these videos are very useful, then hit the subscribe button for more videos delivered straight to you, the viewer, whenever you want in your whatever you call it. What is it? A feed? The feed. And if you've got that mate who's going on about laptops and saying he wants one, hit the share button and send it to them. They might find it useful. Now it's worth noting that this is probably the last video you're ever going to see in this room because unfortunately I am moving out next week and that means I've got more time for more content for you guys, so there should be a lot more stuff coming soon, and the channel should hopefully get a lot better in the coming weeks. Thank you very much for watching guys, and I will see you next time.